Do you know what the main elements of our sun are? It's hydrogen in the first place, followed by helium. And this is not only the case for our sun, but all the other billions of trillions of stars in the universe. But do you also know the person behind these groundbreaking scientific findings? It was Cecilia Helena Payne Kapushkin, and as unusual as her name was her story of discovering the gases that make up almost our entire universe. Payne was born on May 10, 1900 in the small town of Wendover, and raised by her single mother as her father died at the age of four. Graduating from high school in 1919, she received a scholarship to study science at the University of Cambridge. And there she attended a lecture of the famous astronomer Arthur Eddington that sparked her interest in astronomy. So she dedicated herself to the science of the stars. However, after finishing her studies, she was not given a degree because Cambridge University did not grant them to women until 1948. Realizing her limited opportunities in England, she decided to move to the US, where she entered a program for the promotion of women at the Harvard College Observatory. And finally, she received the first ever PhD in astronomy at Harvard in 1925. Her dissertation stellar atmospheres showed that the spectral classes of stars were caused by the temperature. She was able to link the missing colors in the sun spectrum to certain elements and found out that common metals like carbon made up relatively the same amount as on Earth. But hydrogen and helium were vastly more abundant, which led her to the conclusion that stars were primarily composed of these two elements, making them the most abundant elements in the universe. However, the Princeton professor and astronomer Henry Norris Russell urged her to omit these results from her thesis, as they were contradicting conventional views. He changed his mind when he came to the same conclusion with different means in 1929. And guess what? He got all the credit. Later on, Payne became the first female professor for astronomy at Harvard. In the aftermath, her PhD thesis was called, undoubtedly, the most brilliant PhD thesis ever written in astronomy.